There's no doubt that, that Liverpool is a real mecca of, you know, of, of British pop music. So for everybody to congregate here it just seems like the most natural thing in the world, really. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't seem unusual to me, it just seems now that's exactly where we should be doing this. I really like things like this, I'm always attracted to things. I mean, I've, I've been in groups and I've been uh, a producer and I've played with other people and um, played guitar for people and written songs with people and done all sorts of stuff, so I'm always attracted to doing things like this. It's so good to be involved in something like this because like, never before has this happened. Well, it feels very relaxed, actually. I mean, I think because there's lots of really interesting musicians here, it feels kind of very laid back. It doesn't feel like there's any pressure. Everyone's in a nice mood. Uh, you know, all the kind of collaborations that we're doing seem to have just kind of fallen together. And, you know, it just seems like it's very musical. The unique thing about this event is we've got various generations of artists, all of whom are great songwriters, great performers, and in many cases record producers in their own right. So the canon of work that they have created between them is truly enormous. So we have an all-star band led by the musical director, Mark King, who's a very famous bass player, played with Level 42, and we have a superb rhythm section, drums with Steve Barney, guitar from Bernard Butler, John Themis, who's Boy George's guitar, and we have some fantastic guest vocalists, such as Natalie McCall, Mary Epworth, Holly Cook, Tim Burgess will be doing some of his songs for solo record, and we did the Charlatans catalogue. The second half will be a Boy George exclusive set, the full live band, big nine piece band, horns and It's really cool, especially because everybody seems really nice and um, you, you feel that they're accepting you as just as a fellow musician really and it's not like there's no status going on. Watch it for a little while, love to watch things on TV. We worked on a song today, and I mean, when I was, uh, you know, when I was, I was younger, and he, he was, he was always on the TV, you know, and he was, um, you, know, on, you know, like uh, chat shows and stuff like that, and and I just always thought that he spoke the truth. He really told, really told the truth, and I, I just really admired him, and he had a great voice as well. And, uh, so this, this, you know. Beyond a privilege. It's so good to be involved in something like this because, like, never before has this happened. Like, because obviously people tend to do like London, Manchester, kind of skip Liverpool. <laughs> but like, it's so great that the festival is is here and it's just grown so much. So even over like the past year, it's like now massive. Like compared to even last year, like this year, it's like even bigger. Because we I think the contrast between the older, more established artists like George, Boy George, and for, for young Natalie McCall, Liverpool's female artist of the year, I think it must be, I mean, I can only imagine what's going through her mind, because although she's starting to establish herself very nicely in her own right, it's still a big deal to play with Boy George. She wasn't even born when, when he was having his first round of hits. Mary Epworth is, is a name that's getting bigger and bigger. More and more people are hearing Mary's work and, and Holly Cook. Well, what is interesting about Holly is that Boy George is her godfather. 
So she, and she's never performed with him before. Not, not on a public stage, yet maybe around the Christmas tree. What an experience for her. She is so on board with it. She's so excited about playing on stage with her godfather. And the, and the best thing for Holly is, he's singing one of her songs, not the other way around. Body man and soul forever I'm looking for some real love Real love All I need is real love Real love Real love Real love Real love Looking for some real love It's very familiar company but this is the first time that we've ever been involved in anything together musically um, so that's different. <laughs> I haven't seen him play either for years, so that's it's going to be pretty special. You've got someone like Holly Cook who does this beautiful uh, dub music, you know, and her songs are lovely. She's got an incredible voice. And then you've got her singing back, you know, Mary Etworth stuff, which is just down rock. And this, this great sort of melting pot that you get of, of styles is, uh, is really exciting, you know, for a musician. Mama, take this badge from me. One of the unique features that we're doing is we're actually going to be recording the whole event, but specifically recording one track, so the whole audience will be able to see and hear the recording process take place, and then when they leave at the end of the gig, they'll be able to have a special download and they'll be able to take that track home with them. The special one-off download was a version of Ferry Cross the Mersey that was partly recorded when Jerry Marsden joined us in the studio. It also featured on the night the audience and the artists playing and singing along. I'm a man who doesn't know how to say a contradiction. You come and go, you come and go. Come and 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 come come and go. You come and go. You know, in a funny sort of way, it, it's sort of gone in a full circle and it's come back to being about music and about kind of doing things because you want to do them, doing collaborations because they're fun and because they're kind of interesting and there's no, because nobody really sells records anymore apart from One Direction. <laughs> so, it's like, so why are you doing what you're doing? You're doing it for love, you know, so it's, it's a nice feeling, you know.